When a man suddenly wakes up from a coma that he has been in for the past 12 years of his life, everyone is overjoyed. However, it's what he revealed upon awakening that left this entire family in a state of absolute shock. For the first years of his life, Martin Pistorius was a boy like many others. However, at the tender age of 12, his world was turned upside down when he contracted and fell ill with a severe case of meningitis. He had an extremely high temperature, he was constantly being sick and feeling unwell, and he had a prominent rash all across his body. The terrible illness struck him hard, and despite the doctor's best effort to treat him, Martin eventually slipped into a deep coma, trapping him in a world of silence and immobility. No one could believe what had happened to the poor young boy. He had been absolutely fine only a few days before. His friends all wanted to come and see him, but they were understandably forced to keep away. Meningitis is incredibly contagious, and doctors couldn't risk exposing more people to the disease. All they could do was hope, pray, and wait. The doctors mercifully cured Martin on his meningitis, and thankfully, there would be no lasting effects on that front. Yet he still inexplicably remained in the coma. Why? And for how long? Doctors just didn't know. Perhaps his young body had just been in so much shock that it shut down and it would come back online in its own sweet time. That is, if it came back at all. This case was unlike anything the medical professionals had ever seen before. Martin's parents, Rodney and Joan Pistorius, was of course completely devastated by their son's sudden and debilitating condition. The news from the doctors was utterly heart-wrenching as they were informed that Martin might never recover from his paralyzing state and that his time might be limited. Despite this bleak prognosis, Rodney and Joan were unwavering in their determination to provide the best care possible for their beloved son. They wholeheartedly committed themselves to his well-being, leaving no stone unturned in their quest for answers and solutions. In the first few months, Rodney and Joan battled hard to find a way to help their beautiful boy recover. They went and got second and third opinions from medical professionals who specialized in the area, searched for new or unusual cures, and even touched upon homeopathic remedies, anything to help them get their amazing special little boy back. But it was no good. And there was no hope. Nothing they did or suggested even helped in the slightest. Yet there was one thing that they could do. They tried to remain positive and stay by Martin's side. Doctors said that he wouldn't know that they were there due to him being in a coma, but that didn't stop Rodney and Joan being right by his side, day and night, just hoping for a miracle to happen. But of course, no matter how much they wished for things to change, nothing actually happened, and their son remained in his coma. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years, and there was still no change. The doctor suggested that they take little Martin home and care for him until he passed, and so they did. The next 14 years proved to be an arduous and trying period for Martin and his family. He remained trapped within his body, unable to communicate or express himself in any way. Martin's parents became his sole lifeline, responsible for every aspect of his care, from feeding and bathing him to the painstaking task of turning him in his bed. His parents were in constant attendance, selflessly sacrificing their own well-being for the care of their beloved son. It was an incredibly demanding and draining journey for the entire family, who faced numerous physical and emotional challenges throughout. Every day was a battle against the odds, but love and determination never wavered, creating an unbreakable bond that kept them going. But Rodney and Joan weren't getting any younger themselves, so many years of tirelessly doting on their comatose son were starting to take a toll on them. There were countless agonizing days when Martin's parents utterly overwhelmed and crushed under the immense weight of their son's unending comatose state silently yearned for a merciful conclusion to end this unfathomable suffering. If he just died peacefully, then the nightmare would be over for all of them. No one wanted that, of course, but the idea was a shamefully tempting one. Each passing day seemed to magnify their torment as they bore witness to their poor child who was hopelessly trapped in this dreadful condition, and watched helplessly as year after year slipped away. The indescribable pain threatened to wear down their spirits, Yet their boundless love and unwavering devotion acted as an unyielding force, propelling them to persevere against all odds. They clung desperately to even the faintest sliver of hope, steadfastly refusing to surrender in their belief that Martin would one day find this miraculous recovery, no matter how improbable it may seem. So despite their own hardships and challenges, they made a vow to each other and to their son that they would be there for him no matter what, no matter the costs. So they kept speaking to him, telling him about everything that was happening in the world. 
Martin's childhood friends had all grown up and moved on. The world had changed. Technology had come such a long way. Things were not as they once were. Martin had missed out on so many things. There was so much that he would have to learn and relearn and catch up on and take in all over again if he ever woke up. All the while, Rodney and Joan had faith in their boy and faith that he would come back to them one day. There was always a flicker of hope that kept burning bright, no matter how dark things might have been. And then, just as quickly as Martin had slipped into his meningitis fueled comatose state, a miracle happened. At the age of 26, his brain suddenly began to waken, followed by his body. Karen noticed some cerebral activity and advised the parents to have their son checked again. And right on cue, the young man emerged from his prolonged coma, leaving everyone astounded and overjoyed. It was as if an angel had breathed life back into him, giving him a second chance at life. No one was more elated than Rodney and Joan. They were devastated to have lost 14 years with their son, but over the moon to finally have him back with them. But as Martin gradually adjusted to his newfound reality, he revealed a shocking truth that left his family in a state of absolute shock. He revealed to them that he had been aware of everything that had happened around him during those long, silent years. He had woken up two years after slipping into a coma and had heard the conversations, felt the touch of his loved ones, and even listened to their pleas for his recovery. Unbeknownst to his caregivers, Martin's conscious mind was still there, listening, absorbing, and taking things in. Martin could hear everything happening around him, but he had no way to communicate this to the outside world. As time went on, his thoughts became increasingly desperate and dark. He tried desperately to stop his mind from wandering, to stop listening, as the outside world seemed a cruel reminder of the life he had lost. The revelation shook Martin's family to the very core. They were overwhelmed with a mixture of emotions, joy, relief, but also guilt for the darkest moments when they wished for an end to his suffering. However, Martin's forgiving heart embraced them with love and understanding. He knew they had done everything they could, never leaving his side and just waiting for him to return. Martin's miraculous recovery inspired him to share his story with the world. He wanted to shed light on the voiceless, the individuals trapped within their own bodies. Through his experiences, Martin became an advocate for the disabled, raising awareness and promoting compassion and understanding. He might have missed out on half of his young life, but if he could help change the life of someone else, then it would all have been worth it. And most importantly, he was now ready to embark on a new chapter of his own life, one where he could finally make his own decisions. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have felt if you were in Martin's position, being comatose, but also able to hear everything? And if you were his parents, would you have reached the point where you hoped your son would die? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.